Welcome to the University of Rochester. I am Felicia Cooper Obermiller. I'm a PGY3 um, here in the neurology program. Um, and we hope you enjoy the virtual tour of our wonderful program. Uh, I love it here in Rochester because it's a small city, the traffic isn't bad, and it still has everything a city has, so. Hi, so I'm John Nutt, I'm a PGY2. Uh, I'm about to go into morning report, which we have every week on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Uh, it's where the night float resident has a case presentation of a patient that was seen overnight or can be a patient from another encounter. Um, and it's a great opportunity to practice our presentation skills and also for the rest of the group to practice uh, localization and clinical problem solving, led by our um, world famous Dr. Joseph Owicks, who talks us through the, his approach for localization. And it's a really great exercise and way to start the day. Okay, 75 year old man presents to the emergency room mm -hmm. because of memory loss over what duration? Uh, it was sudden onset memory loss. Sudden onset memory loss. The, the big question always is what is meant by memory loss? Hello, I'm Kelsey. I'm one of the fourth year neurology residents here um, about to go into business meeting. Every weekday, our neurology program provides us with catered lunches for a time to relax, recharge, hang out with each other. Um, and on Fridays, we have a business meeting where we meet with our program directors to discuss any um, issues that have come up, concerns, so that we can address them in real time. Let's go in. Hi, I'm Will. I'm a fourth year neurology resident. And on Wednesdays, the residents, uh, we are released from our clinical responsibilities uh, to allow for some teaching. And this is usually a hybrid of in-person and video uh, teaching lectures that uh, cover a variety of different topics. Uh, we already watched a video today on seizure management. And next, we will be attending an in-person lecture with our neuromedical ICU staff. We're going to do this kind of stepwise as we go. So what are the first things that you have to do? ABCs. ABCs, good. So ABCs, she's protecting her airway. You check your blood glucose. You've got your neuro exam. Hi, I'm Nami. I'm one of the fourth year residents here at University of Rochester Neurology. Um, I'm standing here in our um, resident room, recently renamed for our um, now uh, retired program director, um, Dr. Josefowitz, still very involved in our teaching, um, but has now um, transferred program directorship to Dr. Thompson. So this is kind of our resident room where we work every day. Um, so I'll walk you through. Um, lots of computers. Um, so this is where the residents work. We have med students join us. We have um, uh, rotators from other services who work here with us. Um, we have a nice kitchenette here, um, a fridge for our food. Um, we're stocked with snacks thanks to um, one of our uh, other chief residents who supplies us with lots of snacks and Dr. Tom Sick. So we are always um, full of nutrition. <laughs> Hi, my name is Anna, and I am a neurology intern this year, and I am here in our resident clinic, which we also call FIRM. This is our workroom, um, and it's really exciting that we get to start this uh, in our first year, which is a unique part of our program, and I absolutely love it because it gives us a opportunity to meet uh, different faculty um, and have time to kind of talk with them in between seeing patients. We get to learn different kind of bread and butter neurology right from the um, first couple of weeks of um, our intern year. Um, and then we get to follow these patients for about four years um, and build relationships with them and their loved ones um, and kind of learn um, about their specific conditions, which can be all kinds of uh, things from headache to uh, follow up with Parkinson's disease. Um, and really, um, you, never, you never know what can walk into clinic. Um, so I think that's a very unique part of our program. Um, and it also connects us with the senior residents in our program as well, because FIRM starts in uh, intern year, but you also get to see the second, third, and fourth years all on the same day in your firm. Hi, everybody. My name is Christina Perry. I'm one of the PGY3 residents at University of Rochester. When we're thinking about fellowship, uh, 
fellowship and career decision making here. We have a combination of formal and informal mentorship that really helps guide that. I know that I was able to establish some relationships early on in my continuity clinic as an intern and as a PGY2 that really helped guide my decision making. Additionally, we have pretty early exposure of subspecialty rotations as PGY2s, which helps us really get a sense of what do we like, what do kind of practice do we want, that helps us make those decisions pretty early in the process. So I entered my PGY3 year with a pretty clear idea of what I wanted to do moving forward and a path of how to do it. I'm Alex. I am an intern. I'm a PGY1 in neurology. Um, I moved here to Rochester from Baltimore a few months ago. Um, and some of my favorite things about moving to Rochester are so that I'm sort of downtown in the city environment, but the nature like around the city is really, really pretty. And also going to the lake over the summer has been great. Hello, my name is Darling. I'm one of the adult PGY2 residents. I am originally from Puerto Rico, actually. came to Rochester about eight years ago. And uh, being from Puerto Rico, people always ask me a lot about the weather in Rochester. And uh, believe it or not, my wife and I, we're both from Puerto Rico. We really enjoy uh, all of our four seasons here. We really like the expectation that we're going to get some months uh, in the summer where we enjoy the outside activities that Rochester has to offer, like the Lilac Festival, the uh, Rochester Jazz Festival, and then in the winter we do enjoy some winter activities like sledding, making snowmen and such. So it's a lot of fun all year round and uh, there's always a lot of different things to do. Hi guys, I'm Shermal, I'm one of the Child Neuro PGY4s. And I'm Katie, I'm one of the Adult Neurology PGY3s. And this is a slow afternoon on the Peds Neuro Service where we get to enjoy some fun, very nerdy neurology games with both peds and adults. Yeah. So in uh, adult, the adult neurology program, we work really closely with our pediatric neurology colleagues. They join us in their third year of residency. And when we were in our second year of residency, we worked together quite a lot. Sherwell and I actually worked together our very first rotation of our second year and third year, respectively. Yeah. Um, and then the next year, we adults come over to the pediatric side and, and learn about what happens to the younger children that eventually grow up to be adult patients too. Hi, I'm Stephen Powell and I'm a second year resident here at the program. So, my favorite part of the program, honestly, I'm gonna be cheesy. It's the people. I love my fellow residents, I love our program director, coordinator, and honestly, the attendings I work with. I learn a lot from them. Also, I just feel challenged and in all the good ways.